we can say that two shapes are similar if one is a direct enlargement of the other. If I'm told that these two shapes are similar, I can find the scale factor of the enlargement if I'm given the lengths of two corresponding sides. So for example, if I'm told that this length here is 6 and this length here is 3, then to find the scale factor, I'm going to do 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So I now know that to get from this shape to this shape, I multiply by 2. So if I know that this side is 2, then this corresponding side here is 2 times 2, 4. Also, if I'm told that this side has length 10, and I want to find this side here, then I know that the opposite of times 2 is divide by 2. So to go from this shape to this shape, I divide by 2. And that gives me the length of this corresponding side here as being 5. In this question, because I'm told that the rectangles are similar, I can find the scale factor of enlargement. These two sides here are corresponding, so my scale factor is 14 over 7, which is 2. So to get from this one to this one, I multiply by 2. I want to find this length here. This length is corresponding, so I'm going to do 3 times 2, which gives me 6. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. These sides are corresponding. So the scale factor of enlargement is 16.8 divided by 12, which is 1.4. To get from this one to this one, I times by 1.4. So 3 times 1.4 is 4.2, which gives me the length of x. Sometimes you may be asked to prove that two triangles are similar. There are only three cases to learn, and they are as follows. If all corresponding angles are equal, then the triangles are similar. Or, if all corresponding sides are in the same ratio, the triangles are similar. So, you can see on these two triangles that the sides on this one are all double the length of the sides on this one. So these two triangles are similar. Or, if we have two pairs of corresponding sides which are in the same ratio and the included angles are equal, then the triangles are similar. For instance, here we have two angles which are equal. We have a pair of sides here and a pair of sides here. And these sides are 1.5 times the length of these sides. So they're in the same ratio. These two triangles are similar. So I've got my two pairs of sides and I've got the included angle so I know that they're similar. This is a typical exam question. The first thing I'm going to do is prove that these two triangles are similar. I can see that this angle's the same as this and this one's the same as this. I can now work out that this angle here is 102 and so is this one. Because I've got three angles the same in each triangle, they're similar. I now just need to find a pair of sides which are corresponding. If I look at this triangle, I've got this side with the 43 and the 35 here. Looking at this triangle, here's the 43, here's the 35, so this side must be corresponding. I can use these two sides to find my scale factor. 8 over 5 gives me 1.6. So to get from this triangle to this triangle, I multiply by 1.6. I now want to find this side. This side is corresponding, so I'm going to do 3.5 times 1.6, which gives me 5.6. So I know that this side 
is 5.6 centimetres long. Here's a typical exam question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answers, press play. We're told that the shapes are similar and we have a pair of corresponding sides here. So my scale factor of enlargement is 6 divided by 4, which is 1.5. I'm asked to find PR, which is here. 13 multiplied by 1.5 gives me 19.5. So PR is 19.5 centimetres long. I'm also asked to work out BC, which is here. To go this way, I need to divide by 1.5. 22.5 divided by 1.5 gives me 15. So BC is 15 centimetres long. This is a similar triangles question in disguise. I can see that this triangle here is similar to this triangle here. I know they're similar because I have a common angle here and because of the two parallel lines, I have a pair of corresponding angles here and a pair of corresponding angles here. I've now put my two similar triangles side by side. I'm going to look for a pair of corresponding sides with lengths so that I can find the scale factor. I have corresponding sides with lengths here and here. So my scale factor is 24 divided by 18, which is 1.3 recurring. I'm now asked to find the length of ED, which is here. I know that my scale factor is 1.3 recurring. AE is 12, and I can use this to find AD. 12 times 1.3 recurring gives me 16. I now know that this whole length here is 16, and this part, which is this part here, is 12. So this bit, ED, must be 4. I now need to find the length of BE. I know that CD is 14, and to go this way, I'm going to divide by 1.3 recurring. So I have 14 divided by 1.3 recurring, which gives me 10.5. So BE is 10.5. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. Here we have two similar shapes. The scale factor is 3. When I look at the areas of these two shapes, I can see that the area of this one is 1 cm squared and the area of this one is 9 cm squared. In general, we have that if the linear scale factor is k, then the ratio of their areas is k squared. So in our example, the linear scale factor k was 3 and the ratio of the areas k squared is 9. These triangles are similar. To find the scale factor, I need to do 10 divided by 4. So my scale factor k is 10 divided by 4, which is 2.5. I can now work out k squared, which is 2.5 squared, giving me 6.25. So I know that the area of this triangle is 6.25 times the area of this triangle. x is 14 times by 6.25. This gives me 87.5 centimetres squared as my answer. If I was going the other way, and I was given this area and asked to work out this area, instead of multiplying by 6.25, I would divide by 6.25. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. This time, the scale factor 
is 18 divided by 6, which is 3. So k squared is 3 squared, which is 9. This area here is this area divided by 9. So I have x is 36 divided by 9, which gives me 4 centimetres squared. Here's another question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. This time I'm going to start by finding k squared by dividing this number by this number. This gives me 1.7 recurring. I can now find k by doing the square root of 1.7 recurring, which is 1.3 recurring. I now know that this length here is 1.3 recurring times this length. So I have that x is 1.3 recurring times 6, and this gives me 8 centimetres. Here's another question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. The first thing I need to do is find my scale factor k. This is 5 over 2, which is 2.5. Because I'm asked to work out the surface area, I need to find the ratio of the areas, which is k squared. 2.5 squared is 6.25. I know that the surface area of this cuboid is 107.5, so I'm going to divide that by 6.25 to find the surface area of this cuboid. This equals 17.2. So this is my answer. This shape is an enlargement of this one, scale factor 2. If I calculate the volumes, I get that the volume of this one is 1 cm cubed, and the volume of this one is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 cm cubed. In general, we have if the linear scale factor is k, then the ratio of their volumes is k cubed. So in my example, the linear scale factor k was 2, and the ratio of the volumes was k cubed, which was 8. I'm told that these two shapes are similar, and I'm asked to find the volume of this one. I'm going to begin by finding the linear scale factor. This is 12 divided by 8, which gives me 1.5. k cubed is 1.5 cubed, which is 3.375. I know that to find this volume, I need to do this multiplied by 3.375. So the volume of B is 38 times 3.375, which gives me 128.25 centimetres cubed. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. The first thing to do on this question is to find the ratio of the volumes. This is 54 divided by 16, which is 3.375, and this gives us k cubed. We now want to find k. So to do this, we need to find the cube root of 3.375 using our calculator. This gives us 1.5. I now know that this length is 1.5 times this length here. 6 times 1.5 gives me a final answer of 9 centimetres. Here's another question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. This time you should have got the answer 6.6 .6 centimetres.